Welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer channel. This is Saturday Night Shotgun. For those of you that remember, Saturday Night Shotgun was a WWF program. Daddy. Late at night, for those of you who didn't have cable, at least in Chicago. <laughs> and we're playing NBA Action 95, a game I don't know very much about, but it's featuring <laughs> David Robinson. We're live on the air, Aria. Go ahead, go watch over there. Time running out. Throws up a prayer. It's good. Featuring David Robinson, Marv Albert is the announcer in this game, so let's see how it is. I wish I could come in to it Time speaking highly, but I cannot because I have not played much of it. As you can see on the right side, I have a Twitch channel for you to check out. It's DT from B Town. That's on Twitch. DT from B Town. You see it right there. He's doing a full season of NBA action. He had a players draft all the teams. My team is Indiana Pacers. If you want to follow along, I got Daryl Dawkins, Mailman Malone. Sam Cassell, Kenny Anderson, and others. What's up, Alex, in the chat? It's going to be longer than 30. That's for sure. I'm drinking uh, a nice anti-hero from Revolution Brewery. That's become a Chicago craft beer classic. So, one game, original roster. The teams, uh, I always liked the Sonics back in this era, so I'll go with the Supersonics. Alex is first in the chat, so let's go Pistons for the opponent. Alex is popping one already. Two minutes is too little, four minutes seems right. Skill level, I'll, I'll put it on veteran even though I don't know what I'm doing. And you know, the Sega Genesis, I've just been loving it. It's the last system with solid graphics and very simple controller. Just your D-pad and ABC. I feel like even the SNES controller, even though I think it's great for a gamer like myself, it, uh, it adds a lot of buttons that can confuse simpler minded players or people who just want a fun, simple experience. Shaq's on this game? Well, if this first one goes well, we're going to get to see that. So we'll go with Seattle. Logo in there. The only reason I missed out on this one back in the day is because I didn't own a Sega Genesis, nor did I have any idea that uh, Marv Albert was an announcer. You didn't get to make a lot of purchasing decisions when you were younger. You just heard about games, either from commercials or magazines or friends, and that's what you went with. I don't have this old school Pistons logo, so we're gonna go with the new one. And just like primetime, NFL primetime that I played the other day, you get to move from left to right. This became the staple in sports games of what team you want to control. Mark West, Terry Mills, Grant Hill, Joe Dumars, Lindsey Hunter. I like it. Grant Hill, the star, Joe Dumars, Lindsey Hunter, and Terry Mills. Good supporting players. Mark West, probably the weak link in that starting lineup. And then the Seattle Supersonics. That is a stacked starting lineup. Gary Payton, the glove. Kendall Gill. Overall good at everything. Detlef Shrimp, he's got the height, he's got the shooting, he's got the passing. Sean Kemp, just an explosive dunker, rebounder. Sam Perkins, he's got the height, he's got the shot. 
He's got the smooth gameplay. Beautiful Super Sonics team. No reason to edit that lineup. Yep, NFL Primetime did have some similar, almost identical, except for the stats, NFL Primetime game. This one gave no stats. So if I get out to a slow start, it's because, well, I have not really played this one. So I got rejected already. One thing I notice about this one already that I like is they put a little attention into the player detail. Like Gary Payton clearly has a bald head, which he had. Detlef's got that blonde hair. And the other guys all have the short black hair, which is accurate. Gary Payton right down the lane. Lucas Hackett, what's up? Transitional period for the Pistons. Good transition with drafting Grant Hill, that's for sure. Get my own board. Detlef. Kendall. Puts it home, 6-6. Six to six. Yeah, Grant Hill had that messed up ankle. I don't think Orlando knew it was going to be that bad. McGrady and Grant Hill were looking like the next best thing. Kemp jamming it down. Big smooth Sam Perkins. It's kind of like the big diesel in WWF. Big sexy. Smooth and sexy Sam Perkins. Big diesel. Good comparison. Wrestling to NBA. Ooh, I don't know. Is that a fall? What happened? Going to the line for the first time. Oh, I like the simple free throw. One meter. Let's get it in the middle. What's up, Matthew Burgess? This is a Saturday Night Shotgun. Triple crown score. Ken. Well, he didn't have the three-point shot. He had an outside shot, but no three-point shot. He never really averaged a ton of points. If you go back and look at his stats, maybe he one season he averaged 20 points. The rest of them were below that. From downtown. Joel Dumore is like the computer and veteran. They're not missing. He clears the board. But this Super Sonics team has to have one of the best overall starting lineups. So, defensively, I'm going to need to figure out how to steal or block because they're not wavering. Grant Hill with four points. Matthew Burgess saying he was a Genesis gamer back in the day. From downtown, off the mark. I think I'm doing a poor job ending this quarter. So if you're watching uh, DT from Brown Town's Switch channel, he's got all the all the secrets in this one of how to dominate. But one thing I can tell you, like compared to NBA Live '95, the players are much more under control, even though it's that up and down. I'm gonna look to see if we could change the camera angle. I doubt it, but. Uh, this game is much better than the primetime game I played the other night. Sean Kemp, Hall of Famer. It's debatable for the era he was in. I don't get too much into those debates, but I could see it. What's up, James Bond? That's right, I'm back. I'm fresh. I'm playing retro, you know. Before, I was clearly lost in the past, but now I'm rejecting the future and lost in the past. So, that's a double combo for you right there. 
rejecting it all. Just stay back with old tech. NBA action for the Saturn. I played that on the channel. <laughs> Who had more children, Sean Kemp or Scottie Pippen? And give me the totals of how many children each of them had. That's the challenge for the night. Gary Payton. Is it their first game? That's a good question. I don't know. It is a Sega Sports game, though. Oh, yeah. I said I wanted to see if you could change the camera. Let's see. No, this is before, like, camera changes. Oh, I hit exit game. <laughs> well, we're going to get to start over. That sucks. I don't know how that happened. Oh well, I got a warm up. <laughs> yeah, that was just the warm up. So, same Grant starting lineups, and let's go. The game sounds only on the left channel. First of all, let's turn down that game volume a little bit. I don't know what's up with that. You know, Sega Genesis is a little weird sometimes going into the capture card. So we'll get a fresh start here. And hopefully this time I won't exit the game looking for if you can change the camera. Gil with two. Riley, what's up? From downtown. Oh, look at that tip on Terry Mills. Terry Mills had a little athleticism to him early on. No joke. So Alex saying Kemp had more children than Pippin. Eight to two, this is going worse. And one. So we need to come back. Playing NBA 2K22 while watching. Well, I appreciate it. What? That was perfect. Oh, that was a good block. I don't know what you're talking about. Boogie, oogie, oogie, until you can't boogie no more. Weight training, that's good. All right, now we're figuring out. A is turbo, that's going to help out. Let's see, the steel button. Fast-paced game once you get the turbo going. And one, Gary Payton. Yes, and it counts. Oh, this free throw meter is pretty fast. The brick. Rejected. Rejected. Deadlift. Denied. Can't force it up on these boys. Controls are interesting. It looks like A's turbo on defense, but then if you like tap it, it's steel. 1410. Oh, you were wrong. Pippin had more. See? I told you. I told you there was a challenger. 
Basically, the, the reason I know that is because I went to Columbia College in Chicago, and I had a law class, and it was some older guy. Um, I forgot his name, but he said he re represented Scottie Pippen in a lot of these cases of his children with different women, so he's kind of the one who told us about it. Otherwise, I would have never even, like, cared to research that, but it made for a good story in class. Yes, and, it counts. and one. This first quarter, a lot of scoring. Zipping all over. Hating with the runner. Time running out. The deep three. No good. Oh, they called over the back on a rebound. Kendall Gill leading the team in scoring. See, Kelvin Murphy, I don't know who that is. Kemp and Pippen are big name players. Yeah, but I think I was saying earlier, like, these players are much more under control than NBA Live 95. Which gives this game a little bit of polish over that one. B switch player. Man, they're just hitting Grant Hill. And one, Kendall Gill. It has to be good. Hall of Fame point guard for Houston, 70s and 80s. That's why I don't know him. I mean, I started watching the basketball. I was old enough to recollect what was happening in the early 90s. That was pretty. Oh, I got the steal. Kendall Gill doing it all. Oh, no. And I blew my chance to take the lead. Alex might be on it. How many kids? Detlef with the rebound. Oh, Not man. A good decision. He the steal. I think that's what it's all about, that quick steal. Timing that. Stop percentage very high in this one. Gill was 17 points. Almost at a season average. That's right, Kendall. Former fighting the Lion Eye. Sam Perks rejected. James at home, Marv Albert on the call. Let me let me know if you could use hear that smooth announcing voice of Marv Albert. Gill drafted by the Hornets. Yep. He definitely played on the Hornets. It's a big time NBA Jam team with Gill, 
Alonzo Mourning, Larry Johnson. Yes, and, it counts. and one, here we go, Gary Payton. Are the Raptors in this game? That's a good question. I would say no. They were expansion in 95, 96. This one's 95, so I'd say it came out in 1994. Look at Gill attacking the rim. This is a good game. I, I could see why my boy DT likes this game so much, especially if he has nostalgia for it. It's it's challenging, but it feels good. And, and like I always say with basketball games, if they're going to be lopsided in any way, I'd rather it be that you can score a lot and it's easy to score high shot percentage than like a game where it's like impossible to hit shots and it's way too defensive because that's just no fun. So this one through a half, I'm, I'm definitely having fun with it. Studies were optional for Jerry Tark Neon. Did I say that right? Kendall Gill, man. I gotta get Shrimp and uh, Kemp involved. Yeah, Lindsey Hunter was solid. He's fast, quick, can pass a little bit, score, hit a couple threes. I think he was bad at all. Oh, man, he just turned the ball over. Horrible. Let's give it to the rain man, Sean Kemp. Right in. First two points of the game. Maybe that's why Kemp's not getting the ball a lot, because he's taking it out. Oh, he missed the dunk. Kendall Gill flying, 44 up. I don't know if that has the Raptors. I'll have to check after the game. In and out. Oh, oh, Peyton just missing missed. dunks. You didn't like the three-quarter view basketball games? I can understand why. I don't like this view in modern games. I like the press box announcer view. But uh, or TV view, but in retro, I, it works. Like I like NBA Give and Go on Super Nintendo. This one's a little more zoomed out. It works for sure. It's a good game. I'm trying to get my steel on. That's the way I believe I'm going to be able to overcome this team. Yeah, I do I do think that too, Alex. I don't, I don't think the Raptors are in it. That was pretty. Well, it just felt like I was going to get dunked on, so it just happened. Hating so fast gets his own rebound. Come on, just dunk on him. Rejected. Get the ball. Time running out. Traveling. Yeah, 
Kemp dunking over six points in the corner. Look for that steal. And Jerry Mills draining. Not a good. He served up a facial. Well, yeah, the way video games were, though, Riley, back then, is the game the year before. Wow, this is... This stretch is really bad for me. Just went down 10. So if it's a 95 game, you know they made it in 1994. That's the way the games work. Last win in the Lakers' 33rd, 33 game win streak. 1972, yeah, that's dating back. Alright, let's try to get a win here. Can't worry about who's scoring, I just gotta try to come back. The block. I don't know how traveling violations are getting called. Not a good decision. He clears the board. That. Kills fat. Oh, come on. He's having Rejected. trouble scoring. There we go. He dunked it. That was pretty. Yes. Kill with 27. And one. It's good. Peyton and Gill, backcourt. Man, it's just, it is hard to play defense in this. Going to the line for two. when you know it's over. Rejected. Forced them into a deep three with Grant Hill and they're just draining. Throws it away. Detlef with his first two points. Shots from distance. This was a decade before the adoption of the three point. It's good. 90 points over the first three quarters. So Stern changed the league so much for the better between the 70s and the 80s, says Alex. A steal timed well. Oh, I 
thought I had another one. Nice touch. Let's just see if I can score with Gary Payton and get some steals for the win. Yeah, I could already tell, like, in this one, the way... Oh, and I still get dunked on. The way you're going to get some turnovers and beat the other team is with steals. You know, some games you could just play solid defense, stay in front of your opponent. This one you legitimately need to get the turnovers. Perkins just missed a wide open dunk. Throws up a prayer. Game over, Kendall Gill still gets MVP with 31 points, but it's in a loss. Yeah, creativity doesn't need memory to make the games fun, you know. Honestly, the limitations that were put on him probably made them make those tough decisions. What? It's fine. Stern was forward thinking when it came to marketing and how the game should be perceived compared to the other major sports. He had Magic and Bird to build around Dr. J2 to a lesser extent. All right, I'm going to give it another go. You guys pick the teams this time. I do have a couple games here that I was thinking about playing. The Sonic 2 with the Sonic and Knuckles, so I would get to use Knuckles and Sonic 2. Just saw the Sonic 2 movie with my daughter. First time she went to the movie theater to see a movie last week then I got Streets of Rage 2 I could throw that in too it's always a classic but I'm going to play one more of this I enjoyed it <laughs> I'm not running the stream oh, I'm sure it should be running them in the future Let, let me know what teams you want to see in this one. I'll switch both of them up. We got the Detroit Pistons in for Alex. There's David Robinson just swatting Vlade away. Lakers. Lakers Heat. Riley is vocal in the chat. We'll see if anyone else has a request. Or we'll at least give Riley the Lakers as the opponent. Shaq, yeah. Fun, fun team. Not the uh, old Hulk Heat logo is gorgeous. Yeah, I like it. Lakers never had Mitch Richmond. He was on the Kings. I mean, the Lakers did get Mitch Richmond much later, but I want to say it was late 90s, early 2000s. They had Van Axel. Vladi, 
Eddie Jones. Uh, who else? Eldon Campbell. Cedric Zabalos. But hold that thought. I'll be right back. Give a quick commercial break and then I'll get to this game. If I am good at basketball, I get rid of the extra players. I make it two on two. So I either have the ball or I'm getting the ball. And I get rid of some rules like no setting the ball on fire. And I do this. Because it's not my fault everyone's not 7 1. Hey, play your game. It's NBA Showtime, NBA on NBC. It ain't no sim game. And I make free throws with three points. Because free throws are tough. The clock will continue to run. Fourth down, seconds remaining. They're going to need to call a T.O. Yo, this is T.O. Game Informer calls it the one football game you must have. And IGN says it will own your soul. Get ESPN NFL 2K5 from ESPN Video Games. Hey, how'd you get this number? Rated E for everyone. Trading all the stats, all the matchups, and if you're lucky, a chance to kiss Lord Stanley's cup. 84 game seasons, NHL 95. How do you describe a playmaker? How do you describe a playmaker? A guy who's clutch, who makes the big time plays in big. Mitch Richmond was not on the Lakers in '96. I guarantee it. to be the Miami Heat. Let's see who we got. It's not maybe. I know this one. 90s NBA, that's my number one wheelhouse as far as sports. Like, I played all the video games. I watched so many games on NBC, all the Bulls games. Mitch Richmond was on the Lakers at one point, but it was later in his career. It was not in the 90s, at least the mid-90s. Look it up. See, this is this Lakers team I was talking about. Van Exel, Jones, Sabalo, Stevok. I got George Lynch in there to start. Yeah, Del Harris, that's one of the team that's the fun team they're talking about. I got Bimbo Coles, Baby Jordan, Harold Miner, Glenn Rice, the sharpshooter, Billy Owens, Kevin Willis. Not bad. So I got one star. Maybe Harold Miner's still pretty good in this game. Eddie Jones was good. They could have kept him in shooting guard, but he kind of got pushed aside once they got Kobe. Billy Owens with the little lay in. They're struggling and Vlade puts one in. Baby Jordan. Harold Miner with a little lay in. Steal Glenn Rice. Gets stuffed by Vlade. Wide open. Kevin Willis. Riley going for Bimbo Coles. Bimbo Love. Glenn Rice takes it baseline. 
score smoothly for the Heat. And one Harold Miner heat off the oh they call it charge. Oh, now they get the end one. I told you, Alex. It's like the younger you are in a certain era, your memory's like laser sharp for this sort of stuff. And I knew in that era that I just had to tell you you were wrong. But, you know, the years before that, you would definitely know more than I do. Charging on Eddie Jones. Look at the Glenn. Len Rice scoring heat with a lead, six point lead. Ooh, that, that could have been a charge again. From downtown, off the mark. Len Rice coast to coast. Billy Owens cleans it up. They are missing a lot of shots in this one compared to the last game. Floppy Divac when he played for Sacramento. That's fair. He definitely wasn't trying to block shots. I would say that was one of the teams that was like super crafty with uh, taking charges. Like when it started happening. Like Peja, Divac. Those dudes, even Weber was not a shot blocker. He would do some of that too. Oh, come on. I can't have dunks miss like that. Backcourt. What do you mean? Time running out. That was pretty. Points are spread out. I don't know. Did Richmond get an NBA title or was that after their run? Well, they kept running into him and then Tim Donahue, or Donahue, however you say his name, tells you how the NBA rigged it so they advance the Lakers they helped out the refs helped out so sports are entertainment but they're not genuine sports with integrity which is why I don't watch them anymore at the professional level Rejected. Richmond won a title with the Lakers in 2002. I remember when he won an NBA All-Star MVP. It was kind of a surprise. How did he miss that? Another turnover. I didn't really get to see him. Don't remember him playing with the Warriors. With Hardaway and Mullen. But that was a thing. But it was hard to catch the West Coast teams in the early 90s on TV. Oh, man. That lead I built up is gone. Now it's up to Baby Jordan and Glenn Rice. To get it back. That was pretty. Yeah, 
Boom, Cedric Sabalos. Run TMC, that, that's what it was called. They didn't want to mess it up. It was right before they got Chris Webber. And one, Harold Miner. I would say, yeah, like, NBA action, even though it's very offensive, it's a game that got overlooked in this era. It's got all the players, it's got good presentation, gameplay's solid. The Mokons! Well, you say as the ugliest shot ever, but I would give that to Sean Marion. But I see what you're saying. I would say ugliest shot ever for someone that can actually shoot the ball, which Marion could score. Like, uh, Joakim Noah has a horrible looking shot, but I wouldn't say he's someone who could actually shoot. Free throw's okay, but jump shot, not so much. Time running out. He throws a brick. Oh, the buzzer. Sounded halftime. See if there's any subs to make. John Sally's the best thing on the bench, best player on the bench, but not for the positions I have to replace. Surprise, the rice is only a 70 overall. Pretty low overall for the whole team. Bill Cartwright, three throws not pretty. Chris Dudley, Shaquille O'Neal. Rejected. Not a good decision. <laughs> Chris Duffy. Yep, you just read my mind. Yes. Miner with the lay in 11 points. Reach in. What's up, Tim? Some Madden streams? I know. I was just telling someone about the channel today, and I was telling them about how the uh, the Madden streams where we draft a team and then simulate are popular when I do them, but I haven't done one in months. Uh because the reason it came up is because he was telling me in NBA Jam 2000 for the 64 before Fantasy, they were switching teams, players on the team, simulating seasons, and seeing who would win. It did have tough competition with NBA Live and TE. I would say in the marketing department. I mean, TE is obviously the best out of them, but it's an arcade game. It's good. 
But Midway knew how to make games fun. Li I mean, Live 95 is still fun, even though the players control a little bit more wildly. This one, not as much. Harold Miner finds his path to the basket, throws it down. Lottie with the jumper. Rejected. Going to the line, Bimbo Coles. Spot on. Yeah, no, that Rick Berry's technique should have been adopted by many more players. And why does that work? I would say just because because you're coming from that low trajectory on the free throw, you're getting a little bit more arc, giving you a little bit better chance of it going in. I can make Tecmo Hockey happen on the Genesis. I have the game. Tecmo Hockey. It's a fun one. It's a side-scroller. Just a reach in. Kevin Willis with the path to the basket. We got a good game here. Oh, I thought I had to steal. From downtown, he throws a brick. Lottie's all over me. Oh, get out of here. That was pretty. Charging. Do a fall. I don't agree with it, but I'll take it. In and out. Willis with the rebound. Gets Blaney. Oh, with Vladi in his face. Drains it at the buzzer. Tecmo made one hockey game on the Sega Genesis. I have streamed it on the channel before. So... You can already watch gameplay footage of it, but I can play it again. I've been trying to get to some games that I just haven't played that I have. Plus, I have like a recliner in my basement, old school 80s recliner. It doesn't have like the in between with the footrest, it's just like the you know, the metal arms on the side. And I have a Sega Genesis sitting right there, and I love to just pick it up with the three-button controller and usually play Sonic, but there's so many other good games on the Genesis, so... Like I said, I go, I go in streaks of enjoying playing certain systems, so that's what I do on the channel. Tecmo Super Bowl PS1. From downtown, off the well, I haven't finished my season yet. Oh, come on. That was a breakaway. Is they called charging? Uh, I, I mean, I think it's solid. It's I didn't give it a fair shot. With the Steelers, I'm enjoying using them because I got a good running back and plus Cordell Stewart's the fastest quarterback in that game, so I'm able to scramble for first downs. I would say it's tougher to pass in that one. But overall, if you look at it as more of a simulation type techno experience, it's fun. Games take a little longer than I would like, though. Billy Owens, N1. What's up, Sean? I have been pretty good. 
You know, I stream when I feel like playing some games and talking with the chat. So I haven't been on as much the last few months, but stream here and there. Did one the other night. Billy Owens getting clamped down on. Maybe Jordan. Dunks. 22 for Harold Miner. There's Lynx with 20 points. Some unsung heroes in this one. Oh, blew it. Hope those don't come back to haunt me. Len Rice, he take the lead back. Knocked it loose, not good enough for the steal. Ade. Not a good decision. Don't know what happened there, but they got the ball back. Yes, and it counts. Van Exel was a baller. Man, they just took a five-point lead. What happened? It was a four-point play. Getting screwed here in the end of this game. Not enough steals. What's up, JC? Infamous Smoke. Well, this was a closer game, but in the end, I don't know, that one possession, they just scored. I was down like one, and then all of a sudden I was down five. Oh, he served up a facial. Time running out. Traveling. Throws up a prayer. That's going to do it. I need a little work in NBA action. Vladi Divac, player of the game, 27 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 blocks, 1 steal. Good presentation. Take a sports. Not as many blocks. 1 more steal, but not good enough. Yeah, much better game. All right, so I got two games right here. Just played two games of NBA Action 95. Yeah, what's up, DT? So DT in the chat. He's uh, he's the one. DT from B-Town. He's doing the NBA Action League. He had us all draft a team. I'm the Indiana Pacers in the league if you want to follow it. This is a good game. I'm just not very good at it. You know, this is my first few run-throughs. And, um, first game lost by double digits. Second one, five. Yeah, it's it's good. I, I would say I could see it being better than NBA Live 95, honestly. it's The players are more under control. Defense is tough, but uh, overall I like it. Uh, the Heat being respected at this time, I would say no. They weren't respected until they got Tim Hardaway and Alonzo Mourning in the 90s at least. Which they have neither player on this team. Alright, so I'm going to continue the stream. You tell me what you want to see. I could play another game of this. Or I could play some Sonic 2 with, with Knuckles. Yeah, the Heat, they were pretty weak. Even Glenn Rice had a 70 overall rating, which I wasn't happy with. With Streets of Rage 2, I can knock some people out with that unbelievable soundtrack. 
Or you can hear Marv and some more NBA action. Riley says Sonic 2. Yeah, I, I remember you saying the overall is, is misleading. I mean, Harold Miner played pretty good in that game. He looked like his dunking rating was pretty good. He was able to score over 20 with him. <laughs> it's all right. Thanks for stopping by to say hi. Yeah, I looked in my game drawer the other day, and the two games that popped were the game I played the other night. Primetime, NFL Primetime with Dean and Sanders, which I did not like, but this game is way better than that one. I have NBA Jam, of course. Miller 71, borderline MVP. What's up, Eli the Wolf? <coughs> I also have Hang Time on Genesis somewhere. That's right, JC. The Heat weren't anything until Hardaway and Zoe. And then they got Jamal Mashburn. That's a that's a triple threat right there. Alex not liking Christian Leitner. That's right, NBA Action 95. If you don't see me playing it, you'll see DT from B-Town playing it on Twitch. Big time season. I'm the Indiana Pacers. Follow it if you can. What's up, Patrick? How you doing? No, no problem, DT. I thought if I'm gonna play this game, I gotta say something about what you're doing with your uh, your league because no one's gonna give the time and love to this game that you are, you know. There is an NBA action game on Saturn. I played it. I have that game. Uh, someone earlier was saying that they have it. This game's better, though, from what I remember. They tried to do the 3D, and it didn't didn't work out too well. Ramen and fish. <laughs> Play the magic, Shaq and Penny. Is Shaq in this game? I would like to get a win. I wouldn't mind using the magic. All right, who do you want to see me play against? Orlando Magic versus who? You never know with Shaq, you know? Once he made that Shaq Fu game, they got the rights to him. I believe you, Eli. I don't know how that's going to work out with those two guys. Magic vs. Minnesota. You're trying to get me a win. The Suns? That seems like a good matchup. The Magic versus Phoenix. It's a very fitting name for the Penny and Shaq team. Jack made a song with Biggie. What's it called? I can't say I remember that. Maybe I knew it at one time. Check out Meta World Pieces album too. Run our test. Suns, not their strongest team. Kevin Johnson, Dan Marley, Danny Manning, AC Green, Joe Klein. 
Oh, roster center. I told you. You never know, Shaq. Penny's there. Nick Anderson, Horace Grant, Dennis Scott. Shaq got yanked. Some of the greatest games robbed of Shaq. At least Shaq's in the original NBA Jam on the arcade. But Jordan never made an NBA Jam. Too disappointing. I know they say there's this rare cabinet with Ken Griffey, Gary Payton, and Jordan, but that doesn't really count. Gary Payton says he has all three of those cabinets now, by the way. So it was Eric Dickerson. That's why uh, there's two different versions of Tecmo Bowl. And also, he should be in Tecmo Super Bowl, but they just didn't put him in because of all the hassle he call, caused. That's why you get Albert Bentley at running back. Nick Anderson. There he is, Shaq Diesel. Penny, fast, blown by KJ. He's got the height advantage. Based on the matchup that I see, this should be a win for me, but. Yes, and it counts. Are the T Wolves threatening leaving? Another turnover. Penny Hardaway, 11 to 4. Grant, go to the line. Don't forget this is Saturday Night Shotgun. Anything could happen on Shotgun. A honky-tonk man can get hit by a guitar by Jeff Jarrett. You just don't know what's going to happen. We could switch to WWF Royal Rumble on the fly on Sega Genesis or WrestleMania the arcade game. You just don't know what's going to happen on shotgun. Man, I can't hit a free throw in this game. And one. I like the simple meter, but man, you got to get it right in the middle or you're going to miss. There we go. Uh-oh, getting better. Up nine. I don't know how he threw that one away. AC Green. Horace Grant rattles it around. No one's there to guard Marley. And he just goes and dunks it. Nick Anderson, ferocious attack of the rim. That should be a miss. And it is. D3 with the rebound. Penny. Magic back up. Oh. I think people in Seattle would like an NBA team again. Anything could happen in the World Wrestling Federation. You gotta give credit to Horace Grant and those beautiful goggles. What a legend he is indeed. From downtown, 
Off the mark. Nick Anderson dunking over people, 11 point lead. Yeah, you know, AC Green was big on his abstinence. I don't know why he wasn't looking for a woman all those years. With the athletic body type and everything, but that's the way he did it, you know. I do remember hearing about that. Never looked into it. But, you know, it is a virtue. You gotta give credit to the ultimate warrior. <laughs> Shaq should be owning Joe Klein. I just want to see what their overall ratings are on the Magic. Oh, Hardaway's at 92. Jackson 86, Grant 78. Brian Shaw is the best thing on the bench, but I'll, I'll keep it the way it is. But it's good to know Penny. And he's got 10 points already, too. Penny's about to dominate KJ. Trying to get down the stealing. I know that's the key. Ball? Are you serious? Three rounds, 45. Someone's got to lead this Magic team to greatness. You know it's got not going to be Nick Anderson and his free throw shooting. Shaq with the monster Shaq dunk that you see on his Daddy. Payless shoes. Yeah. What? What's up? Hi. <laughs> you just wanted to make an appearance? Hi. Bye. Hi, bye. Hi. Wham, bam, thank you, man. <laughs> Joe Klein getting in on the action. Uh oh. Kevin Johnson, so fast you can't even see him score. Nick Anderson really has got a good dunk rating. He must. Oh, man. I don't know how to keep him in front. The penny. Oh, he jagged that one. Joe Klein just getting too aggressive with Shaq. Nick Anderson. AC Green played with all those guys? I didn't know that. In the 80s. Horace with a little running hook. Yeah, I mean, you can't forget it. Like that. That series between the Rockets, everyone thought it was going to be like a, a, not only a magic win, but like a long series. And that seemed to just kill any momentum that the magic had. I don't think people were paying attention to AC Green on those teams. That's the thing. He was there. It's like Mitch Richmond in his 2002 championship with the Lakers. It's like Richmond was a great player. Everyone remembers him on other teams, but do people remember him on that Lakers team? That was pretty. Like I think even Gary Payton got a championship with the Lakers at one point. Oh, KJ. Nick Anderson going off. He, he really is. I can really feel the speed difference, though, with Penny Hardaway. 
Oh, rebounds his own miss. Oh, Nick Anderson. Dennis Scott not feeling fast. Rejected. 92 overall, Penny Hardaway. <laughs> Tried to get in front of him, couldn't. Oh, Joe Klein with the defense on Nick Anderson. Big three. Oh, tip dunk, Dan Marley. Orlando, or, uh, Phoenix coming back on Orlando. Oh, Gary Payton didn't get one with the Lakers. He got one with the Heat. Okay. I knew he got one with someone, so that's what I'm kind of talking about. I remember, everyone remembers Gary Payton leading the Sonics to the NBA Finals against the Bulls. They remember him playing on the Lakers, but who remembers him getting a championship ring on the Heat? Well, DT does, but it's kind of like a charity. I think even like T Tracy McGrady got one with the Spurs, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Kurt Rambis. Oh, Penny just not even caring who's in front of him. So, DT, since you're in the chat, what is the trick with the defense here? Is it the stealing or the blocking? What what do you have to do to become a good defender in this one? Because that's where it seems tough. That was pretty. Check D's. Center. Only seven points. Have to be insanely in intertwined with the controls. Well, I'm definitely not that. Definitely feel it the timing thing with the steals which I have not gotten down oh Marley just chucks can't feel too bad at least it was Dan Marley Nick Anderson A strategy you get in the passing lanes, but you have to be ready to switch guys and protect the rim. Okay, switching, which I have not been doing a lot of. Got that rebound. Or just get a fast rebound and go coast to coast with Penny Hardaway. Not with Joe Klein hitting jumpers. That was pretty. Defense have been good. I'm forcing them to jump shots. But Danny Manning finds his way down the baseline. Now he threw the ball away. Four point game. Nick Anderson forces his way to the hole and misses. But Eli with a Big comment. I'll have to look at that in a second. Yeah. 
Yeah, they are pretty insane offensively. I can feel that. Nick Anderson with 28 leading the team in scoring now, I think, over Penny Hardaway. Oh, I tried to get in front of him, but ended up with a foul anyways. Well, Eli, all I have to say is a close attention to morality means the most when fighting for freedom. If that's what you want. Danny Manning always remembered him getting the MVP when he won the NCAA championship while he was a Kansas Jayhawk. Protect the paint steal when you when you can. Alright. Double double trouble in the Well, it's not the backcourt because well, yeah. Because Dennis Scott's a small forward on this team. Alright, let's see if I can get the win. I'm up six now. Nick Anderson just dunking all over the place with 30 points. Can't let Joe Klein do this to us. See, I would expect like Joe Klein to miss that shot. How did he miss that? <laughs> Good question. Like, those are kind of like the shots that Joe Klein hit with that jumper in other basketball games. Like, if you force a bad player to shoot a contested jump shot that they would miss. So some of that is, like, I guess a little unrealistic. But, you know, we're playing a mid-90s basketball game, so. Marley. Well, that's a shooter. Not going to get mad about that one. Up 10, Nick Anderson attacking the basket. Shaq underutilized just because he's called center. Joe Klein will only make that shot for the computer is what you're saying. Oh, Joe Klein just stole that. Yeah, you better miss that. You could try to guard me, KJ. With that 92 overall, I don't think so. The jumper, AC Green. Come on, Shaq. I'm going to call backcourt. Large guard, Dennis Scott. Yeah. Not a good decision. Steal, 19 for KJ. Oh, Nick Anderson. When he goes up for the dunk, it's been money. Another ferocious dunk for AC Green. Uh oh. Oh, he hit it. 11 points. Computer is money. AC Green heating up. I just like this matchup. Penny Hardaway. Not only is he so fast, he's got that height advantage on Kevin Johnson. 36. 
Nick Anderson and Hardaway competing for the most points on the team. Big shot, Dan Marley. It's like Hardaway's got... Oh, Joe Klein tries to guard Hardaway. But you know that's not going to happen. Really, I can't get the steals going. Oh, I finally knocked one loose. But it's out of bounds back to the Suns. Joe Klein. They got the ball back somehow. Put back dunk, did they call it? Anthony Hardaway. Penny Hardaway. 38.3 rebounds. Doesn't need to pass because he's scoring so many points in that one. Eli is ashamed of the direction this country's going. Well, you know, you're a young guy. Just figure out where your morality stands and maybe it won't feel as bad for you. But I don't know. Big W for the magic. Third time's the charm tonight. Felt good. Definitely with the magic. Penny Hardaway, Nick Anderson were unstoppable in that one. Even the roster center, 99, Shaq, puts up 11. Yeah, I'm, gl I'm glad I gave it a shot. I mean, with the one system, like, I really don't know what games I have because I... I just bought some random lots at one point is Sega Genesis like I have the best variety on Sega Genesis of all different kinds of games so this one kind of got buried in the library it's just in one of the bins and I'm like oh wow I have this game I'm ready to go Yeah, once you get that Tecmo fix in, you gotta you gotta let it ride out until it's over. I haven't been as in the Tecmo lately. I think the live tournaments and playing really is what gets me into that. I'm not much into the online Tecmo as most of the other community is. Um, I, I prefer to play in person. All right, we'll see you later. Thanks for checking out the stream. I'm glad I played a third one. So, Eli the Wolf, what, what is it particularly that you're not happy with going forward? And uh, what do you guys want to see? Riley said you want to see Sonic 2 with Knuckles. Give me a Sonic 2 special or Streets of Rage 2. I will keep up the promotion of NBA Action 95. These sports games don't get the love that they deserve in many cases. And to see uh, an oddity as it's considered to most get some attention is good to see. Dusty Diamond Softball. I have seen that game at the video games then and now that's close to my house. It's it's an exciting, expensive game for a limited interest that I have in it. I, one day, though, when it goes down in price, which I think Nintendo games are on the decline a little bit as far as the price, I'll get it. As you know, I don't really like to play emulation on stream. It, it happens rarely. Taught me was sort of baseball. Well, you guys think about it. I'll be right back with a quick commercial break. Lakers or Celtics in the NBA playoffs? I don't have that one. I think I got Bulls Blazers. Maybe. You know what? I might have Lakers Celtics. Sometimes I forget which games I buy. 
especially when it comes to Genesis. The games were Sonic 2 with Knuckles or Streets of Rage 2. I just picked a couple ones that I like to play often and whatever the chats chooses. I'll be right back. If I invented basketball, I'd be really good extra players. I make the two on two. So I either have the ball or I'm getting the ball. And I get rid of some moves like no setting the ball on fire. And I do this. Because it's not my fault everyone's not 7 1. Hey, play your game. NBA Showtime, NBA on NBC. It ain't no sim game. And I make free throws with three points. Because free throws are tough. The clock will continue to run. Fourth down, seconds remaining. They're going to need to call a T.O. Yo, this is T.O. Game Informer calls it the one football game you must have. And IGN says it will own your soul. Get ESPN NFL 2K5 from ESPN Video Games. Hey, how'd you get this number? Rated E for everyone. Trading, all the stats, all the matchups, and if you're lucky, a chance to kiss Lord Stanley's cup. 84 game season, NHL 95. How do you describe a playmaker? How do you describe a playmaker? A guy who's clutch, who makes the big time plays in big games, baby. He pulls guys, knocks guys, rips guys out of this huge. Bang, bang. <laughs> Boom! The playmaker makes the catch over the middle. He better not come across that middle. <laughs> Enter your seat, to your feet, you get the stadium to go off. Yeah, yeah! And the guy that I'm talking about? He's an offensive guy. He's a defensive guy. Hey, Ray, talk to me on Monday. what you say, my... All right, back. Well, we'll just give... Sonic 2 some action. Riley said he wanted to see that earlier. Keep religion out of government and the state. You can't force your beliefs on people who don't want to believe the same religions as you. Okay, I see where you're saying and where you're going. What you're saying and where you're going with this. I would say you should take a close look at natural law and see how reality and creation functions naturally. And how close we're living to that without the modern science intervention. Because this doesn't, like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to do with what religion you are. It has to do with morality and how you intuitively know in your heart what right versus wrong is. And uh, as the me media and the B system continues to make its push, you see that uh, the morality of the people is degraded and far from natural. All right, let's get let's get Knuckles going here in Sonic 2. So I did get to Casino Night Zone the other day when I was playing off stream. I had 11 guys with knuckles. And then my daughter threw a big fitness ball at the Sega Genesis and the game froze. So sometimes that's the way it goes in this household. Thank you, Patrick. Without saying exactly what I think, if people don't pay attention to how things are naturally in order in this reality, then we're going to fall from grace quite quickly, which we see today. But it has been going on for a long time, it's just there's more of an awareness to it because of how different things are.
You played the NBA action, even an NBA live house. Yeah, I just played three games of NBA action, and then I threw in the Sonic 2 with Knuckles as a nightcap on Saturday Night Shotgun. You never know what's going to happen on Shotgun. Only beer, too? Before I started the stream, I drank about five Miller Lights at my neighbor, Kem Kenny and Kim's house. They had a birthday party for their one-year-old pool party earlier. It rained. And uh, we powered through. It was still fun. But they had a few people over just to hang out at their house, order some pizza. Kids played. It was a good time. should get this Chaos Emerald quite easily, which I do. Well, see, this is what I'm talking about, Eli. Like, when you're talking about same-sex marriage, like, there's no way to create a person without a man-woman relationship. So, natural law would say that any relationship besides man-woman is not natural. So what the legalities are besides what's natural is really something that needs to be thought about. Hey Alex, I think I'm I'm saying it as soft as I possibly can. Unfortunately, and I say unfortunately because it does have a negative effect on my life is when you see agendas and propaganda so vividly and how they can program people to certain behaviors, it's, it's not a pretty picture. But we'll see where things go from here. It's all up to the power of the individual, so whatever people individually do to collectively make the society is where we'll go. And, uh... It's tough for me to be part of where it's going, but I keep on moving on anyways. Nine years. Good for you. Been dating for nine years. I would say it's, it's time to pop the question. Well, now that Roe vs. Wade is overturned, there'll be more children to adopt, so there you go, Eli. But, you know, clearly, like, with everything going on since 2020, they're trying to divide people on so many fronts. And it's coming together in unity despite that but it's so strategically and geniusly done I don't know how it's gonna happen but you know I'm just gonna do my thing and try to be the best person I can and just see where it goes Civil discourse, you're you're right. It is tough to have. I mean, it really is. Because usually you can, uh, you know, pr pretty much identify. Hey, how's it going? She's down here with me. I'm on the stream. I 
think it's good to see when you don't have someone's views completely lined up with how you ex they expect to go, but I think, uh, like I said, it's been so strategic how people think and are divided on topics that most people do fit into the category that you think they would. Yeah, I worry for them too, Eli. Bradford said marriage is a union between a man and a woman. And naturally speaking, that is on point. Other divisive topics do we want to talk about when I play Sonic <laughs> Sonic 2 with Knuckles? Well, yeah, Eli's school system's completely messed up for more than one reason. I would say most young people need to be expending their energy physically outside and socially more so than sitting hours in a classroom or remotely on a computer, so there's, there's that too. Pineapple on pizza? Yeah, that's a no-go for me too. We can agree on that. I'm from Chicago where there's a lot of good pizza and no one would dare order a pizza for their friends with pineapple on it. Yeah, and unfortunately, I mean, I see, uh, at least in the U.S., a morally de degenerate society that's so far gone that it's more a divided we fall situation than united we stand. So as the World Economic Self-Proclaimed Great Leap Reset continues, we'll just see what happens. But, you know, there's a lot of power in the individual, but still, it takes numbers in a collective to make a difference. <laughs> Patrick's gonna pass tonight. Sonic and Social Chaos. There you go. One of the games is called Sonic Chaos. I think it's a Game Gear version of Sonic. Another Chaos Emerald. I wouldn't... I think that's also maybe a little bit of a trap to say Japanese or Irish girl. Just go with the best person that connects with you. You know? I know a few people who go based on looks and that doesn't work out for them.
Riley's saying he might move to Canada. That's a turn of events. Knuckles dealing with a little purple water dilemma. And we're out. <laughs> Good heart, nice body. <laughs> You got the ultimate combo. The ultimate Maniax, the ultimate warrior, and the Macho Man. So fast. Alright, yeah, this is the boss. This is Robotnik. He's done quick. Just glide my way to free those animals. Knuckles is a maniac in the new Sonic movie. Yeah, he certainly is a, a powerhouse, that's for sure. I can't say that that didn't inspire me to put Knuckles in Sonic 2. Just powerhousing with those knuckle fists. Say that the game is a bit easier with Knuckles, the ability to glide and also climb walls. Don't have to spend too much time in the water in levels like this. I would say as I've gotten older, I really like to play the Sonic games over the Mario games. And not that the Mario games aren't also great, it just, I don't know, I prefer the Sonic games. They're just more fun, detailed, levels are multi leveled all over the place. <laughs> Streets of Rage 5 featuring Sonic and Knuckles. That would be a fun one. the route I wanted to take in this level going down here in this water it's not a deep water level Aria are you sleeping yet no okay just checking
That's a good point, Bradford. Super Mario punishes you if you don't jump at the exact time. Sonic is more free to do what you want. Yeah, you could you could run around for part of the level in Sonic. Especially when you start bringing in the abilities of Knuckles and Tails. It brings a whole nother dynamic to the levels. Like I feel with Knuckles in this versus Sonic, I, I could stay up higher. Because there's usually like, I want to say at least three different ways through on a Sonic game going left to right. This is a pretty easy boss. There's really no threat. All he has is his arrows. Just jump on him, hit him. Not super challenging. What's up, Crestline Iceberg? Nice to see you in the chat. Casino Night Zone. Alright, I got eight guys. This level's kind of a blow off level. It's all the X. It's kind of just a. Uh for fun, get as many rings and points as you can, and rack up some free guys, there's not many bad guys going on, it's like you made it to this point, have a little fun, oh Robotnik, the long version, I don't know if this is the long version, I don't really know what happens when you put Sonic and 2 on top of the Knuckles, Sonic and Knuckles game besides 4 I get to play as Knuckles. This level is beautiful. This is always a fun one to play when you're doing the split screen one on one. Sonic 2 is definitely my favorite of the series of Sonic games. Saturday Night Shotgun, you never know what's going to happen. You might see Knuckles busted out the game or you can see it let me fall short free guy right there but yeah if like you only had a Sega Genesis system in your life you could still have a ton of fun great variety of games and be entertained for a lifetime. That's how good these video game systems are. I would say after the NES. You could say the same for the NES. Now, like Atari 2600, can't say you'd be entertained for the rest of your life. There's a lot of duds in those games, but you only have a few gems. You'll have a variety. 
but a lot of games where you say, what the heck is this? Is this even a game? No, Sonic 2 and Knuckles. That would be Sonic 2 locked on to Sonic and Knuckles. Well, I'm playing with the game on top of the Sonic and Knuckles game right now. out here what's up Brennan good to see you in the chat Sonic 3 and Knuckles is the long one stages from Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles. Oh yeah, they kind of like split the games, is that what happened? Like Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic 3 were supposed to be one in the same, but they made them two separate games. Deontay! I have never done that. Man, you would have been proud of Alex's Jimmy John's order the other night. It was huge. <laughs> they did age like fine wine. Even these stages are fun. I definitely prefer this special stage versus the red and blue ball one where you have to hit the d-pad perfectly to uh, to get the chaos emeralds I think that's definitely sake a CD at least like this you could be in so many different spots you just need to collect the rings and even if you miss rings, as long as you don't get hit, you don't lose rings, so... There's a lot of different spots you can be on these special stage courses versus... You have to not make one mistake with the D-pad with the blue and red ball stages on squares. I think this is what sets this one apart a little bit too, because... It's more feasible for people to get the Chaos Emeralds to be Super Sonic, or I guess in this case, Super Knuckles. And it looks cool, because it's actually a pseudo 3D type of thing. There's another one. That's what I mean, blue spheres where you get the blue balls and rings. Sonic 1 special stage isn't bad, but it's easy to lose control and just end up not getting anything. already. I'm not doing a very good job here. I'm gonna have to start that one over. I don't think there's anything fun about collecting the blue the blue spheres.
with a different strategy. Instead of jumping right into the electricity. He's done. Just need to shake off the rust. Only trust the one ring. Hilltop zone. Need to ride these with knuckles? Hi! Hi, what's up? Daddy? Yeah. Uh, I am hungry. You're hungry? What do you want to eat? What do you have? I don't know. You want breakfast food or anything? Breakfast food. Breakfast food? Mm -hmm. Like waffles or oatmeal? Oh. Oatmeal? I think we can make that happen. Impatient on that transition. All right, I'm gonna have to probably be done here on Saturday night shotgun soon. Gotta make some oatmeal here for Arya. <laughs> we can do oatmeal. <laughs> Get that in the kettle going. Some hot water. It shouldn't be too hard. Is it past your bedtime? Aria? Is it past your bedtime? Uh, you don't know? Do you have a bedtime? I don't know. We just, we freestyle it here, you know? You eat when you want, you sleep when you want. Really relaxed. Oh, she's five. Hundred rings. Knuckles with the free guy. Man, Eli, you come up with some stuff. You want to adopt a kid from Finland? You know, if you find a woman one of these days, you can have a child that looks like you with your genetics. If that's in the cards for you, of course, though. Adopting a kid from Finland? Can't say I've ever thought about that one. Hilltop zone doesn't seem to be too bad. Oh, no special stage. Is W W E two K uh twenty two is that on the switch? Oh man, what happened?
Not sure. So what system would you say it's the best on to play? Because I have PS4 if it's on there. This is fun. You have your PS4? <laughs> Tapping in your inner John Stevenson. We haven't seen him tonight. Hope he's doing alright. He's ready for a Madden draft like Tim. Sony's already thinking of PlayStation 6. Most people haven't even got their hands on a PS5 yet. didn't take too long. And once you start playing this game, it's hard to not keep going. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a few uh, you know, regular people games or I don't know. This is, I mean, a fantasy side scroller, I would say, that I'm pretty good at. I have beat this game before without save states. I actually beat it with my wife. I had her play with me one time. I knew she was a keeper after that. We had to pause the game halfway through, but we came back to it. I don't know, maybe after your oatmeal. Are you feeling tired? No. But I am feeling tired. You are? Okay. The stream's gotta end. Aria needs some oatmeal. Saturday Night Shotgun is over. Top five pick next draft. Yeah, just show up. That's all you got to do. But, yeah, it's going to be uh, oatmeal kind of night. Thanks for joining, guys. It was good talking to you in the chat, hanging out, playing some NBA Action 95 and Sonic 2 with Knuckles. So take care, and we'll see you guys next time.